Many South Africans say that the youth of South Africa is losing its tradition. Global Girl Media wanted to find out more. I think culture is being eroded by various influences. Yeah. I do feel uh, the youth of today does not respond well, favorably to our, our original culture. Culture itself brings back the unity among the black people. And wearing the things that people of olden days used to wear does definitely help. It brings in the element of identification. You see Zulu people wearing their cap. You see the sense of pride that comes into play there. Youth are burning their culture for modern day cultures. I cannot blame them really. It is the time. If you expect me to walk around half naked just to prove that I'm paying attention to my culture, then nah, I, I don't agree with that. It's because of time and time changes. You know, you know we're in the stone ages. So we come from another train, we're sitting in another train for the next generation. You sleep, you dream hip-hop, you talk hip-hop, you act hip-hop. That's what it means when we say lifestyle. It consists of graffiti, rapping, um, break dancing, um, dress code, you know, the way you talk. Yeah, it inspires me to do best yeah. through the lyrics of artists. What's so beautiful about it, it's universal. So you can go to China and go to Japan or go to Italy and not even speak Italian, but you're gonna meet another rapper, you guys will have something in common. Hip hop is an American culture. My culture is, uh, you know, it's the roots of where I'm from. That's what makes me African. That's what makes me special. Through our research, we found that the youth are not neglecting their culture. They are creating their own culture for the times of today. No one could ever say hip-hop comes from home, but hip-hop is something that we adapt from magazines, we adapt from TV. You don't grow up with hip-hop, you know, but you catch on to hip-hop as you're growing up. The time change. They cannot stay static. You know, culture is, is, it moves. Hip-hop is like my second heart. It's the future of, of any young black male who wants to make it in the future. This is Yolanda Mendisi reporting for Global Goal Media.